It's Thursday. You know what that means. It's time for the New Year's preview, actually. Beaver, how are yes. you, mate? How Very was good, Chris? mate. How was Chrissy? Chrissy was good. Uh, keeping well. Yep. And uh, Boxing Day was pretty productive for us, actually. We yep. paid off a few of the prezzies, so that yeah, was quite good as well. Um, the day. And what's on for New Year's? Exciting? Nothing exciting, mate. Just uh, chillaxing tonight, yep. doing nothing exciting, uh, staying safe and maybe a few light refreshments and that's about it. Yeah, I think that's the same plan for, well, same place for everyone, I think, yep. um, unfortunately, this, uh, this stay year. Home. Stay home and stay safe and hopefully um, bigger and better 2021 for all of us. Fingers crossed. Uh, so we've got uh, New Year's Racing on the 2nd this year, uh, Kensington and Caulfield to preview. There's also a Flemington meeting tomorrow, which I've had a quick look at and... Uh, the lead up to the Magic Millions continues up up north, so we've uh, we're plenty to cover. So we should we get into it? Yeah, let's go. Uh, we should, we've got to mention ProGroup Racing now, of course. ProGroupRacing.com.au. They've got um, free tips up there, extensive guides, some new uh, info on uh, every tracks up there now, and plenty to look at. Some new articles coming up soon as well. So check out ProGroupRacing.com.au. But let's get into our Kensington Just preview. Just before we do, oh, yeah. Daggy, I believe we're also going to do a bit of a preview of uh, some of the bookies. Yep. Type. So we've been give talking a few about little tips there. yeah. So we're going to look at next few months. We're going to convey our opinions on most of the big bookmakers yes sir. corporates around uh, around australia and online and maybe where's good for certain uh, or i guess those sort of things are more for people trying to get into the game i suppose but some some good starting pointers for people to get in and uh, this week's sports bet that'll be up uh, in next week or so as well so keep check out progetracing.com.au for that uh, but let's get into our kenzo preview where it is currently a heavy track uh, it dries quite well kenzo not a lot of rain around going forward more so saturday i think soft seven Oh, he's upgraded? Yeah, it yeah. dries very quickly. Um, I would say it probably will play, unless it rains on the day, it will cl- play closer to soft than heavy. Which helps. Uh, which helps. It can, Kenzo's tends to be either leaderish or slingshot down the outside. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. I've sort of treated early on, on pace, and then as we get into it, it'll probably be outside fence a bit like last time it was there. Last time it was heavy, if it gets that, was the... The leaders' day where Madame Legend and a few others led the whole way, Space Boy and those sort of horses all led yep. the whole way. So um, anyway, let's get into Kenzo. There's a tier to kick us off where um, the favourite has gone up to Queensland, I've noticed, um, who looks a likely type, so maybe one for later on. But anything from the two-year-olds? Or you? No, I just let this go. With the wet track and uh, many first starters, I just thought it'd be hard to line up and... Uh, so I, I couldn't get too much form lines here, Daggy. No, that's fine. Um, I thought, uh, yeah, Ranch Hand will be going to Queensland. It was nommed here. Nash Rilla's booked up there. It's short, but I think we'll win up there. It looks a nice sort. Um, but yeah, I was the same as you. Four moves ahead for John Sargent. looked a, a nice mover in the trials, but nothing I'm going to stamp there. Anything for the highway? Are we Look, I... Again, I don't normally uh, get too fussed in the highway, but Mother's Mercy... Uh, Three starts, three wins from one of my, my stables stable, that I like, yeah. uh, Masara Stable, uh, bringing it to town. Sh- showed a lot of grit last start and third up here, uh, drawn well. I think it's going to be the hardest to beat here. So there's some decent horses coming out the highways at the moment. Last Pinnacle Prince was outstanding. It was very good last week. Yep. It's a better than highway horse. Yep. Um, big win. Um, so I'm hoping this might be the same and probably looks like a fairly weak affair. Yeah, fine with that. Uh, watch as well, I've noticed, there's a couple of Yesterday or the day before, might have been the day before. Um, horses out of highways going back to t- back to the country, they've got a great strike rate as well. Yeah. Anytime you see one that's run, come to town and gone back out there, they've got a real good strike rate. But uh, nothing here for me, really. Uh, happy to yeah, respect your lightly raced one there. Benchmark 78, 2400 metre race. Interesting clash of um, Harpo Max, Sky Max, and I guess to a lesser Paris extent, Sound. Parry Sound. Um, you want me to kick off? You yeah, to- go for it, mate. That's a tricky one. I think we'd need to establish. Uh, there's two hopes. The one of the two I mentioned, Skymax and Harpo, both were pretty impressive last start. I think track pattern will probably have an effect on it. Skymax led last time, was pretty brave, kicked away. Uh, I'm going to put Harpo marks on top. I thought it was pretty impressive last last ra- uh, midweek race. Sat last, just round them up nicely and soft through the line. Uh, you'd want to be seeing it. Want to be seeing the track playing so you can get down the outside if you can. Rachel King's got a tremendous, just riding as well as anyone in Sydney, to be honest, end of the day. And um, on top for me, Harpo Marks from Skymax will be on pace. And uh, there's not a lot else I want to get involved with. Yeah, look, I, I kind of went the same way here, Daggy, purely because I think Harpo Marks was a good last start. Yeah. Uh, it's hitting its peak now and certainly handles the going. I did. I did give Parry Sound a really good chance just because of the stingies out of the track, yep. and 
it will run the distance and being so consistent of late. So, yeah, Harpo marks for me. Sky Max, I'm not so sure with the big weight and the, the sting out of the ground. Yeah. Um, how it will handle that. Most of its wins have been on a good track. It's only had two starts on the soft and done nothing. And ran in a barrier trial and in the heavy and was 10 lengths off them, albeit only over 1,200, but that's a long way. Yeah. Um, the thing about Harpo, you go back through Harpo Marks forms um, far enough back, you got Stradivarius form in here as well. Yeah, um, that's right. Which is top form. I think it's the first full prep in Australia, and I think they're very happy with how it's come up at the moment. Um, excellent. So in agreement, there in the third. The fourth over the 1,300 metres, benchmark 72. It's an interesting lightly raced ones here, and um, I've just noticed my tip's been scratched. So do you yeah. have an opinion? No, mine has two. Uh, Oscar Zulu or... No, I was Even on like, tiny. Okay, yeah, well, it's safe for later in the day. Yeah. Uh, tricky race apart from that. Uh, I thought Veronelli was pretty brave on debut. Don't really, you know, Kathy's interesting booking there. And uh, with Oscar Zulu out, I don't really get involved with the race. They were the, the two I would have looked at, would have, the two we've mentioned that are out. So. Yeah, the one I would just want to have a, a watch on is Super Effort. It was well in the market last start and just, yeah, it was pretty, you know, scrubbed up most of the way. Um, hopefully it can uh, show a bit more. Yeah, you know, just starting at seven fifty, maybe maybe worth a play uh, in a pretty open race. But uh, yeah, nothing I was overly keen on there. Back end of the card gets a bit more uh, interesting betting wise for me at least. Uh, we get into the I guess the top race, a benchmark hundred Marubra handicap race five of the fifteen fifty. Where um, I think we've got a good thing in Edison again. Yeah, I think so. It's flying. Yeah, it's flying at the moment. Uh, um, soft track's not going to hurt. Drawn the gate three. Par's going to take it straight to the front. And I uh, can't see this getting beat. $2.25. I think it's going to start shorter than that. I think so too. It, 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 what's it going to do to get past Amahaha? It's going to yes. lead. Um, yeah. Uh, the only danger, possible danger, would be if um, Order Again's come up quite well, I think. Yeah. Um, just the unknown now. First full prep with Waller. But um, yeah, Edison, if you're getting $2.30, um, I think it's a great bet tomorrow. Probably, and for me, one out in the early quarter, most likely. Yep, um, I so, think so. Um, yep, great. That's nice and simple there. Let's get to race six, the benchmark 78. Uh, another lightly race resumer here for me, um, Smart Image. was very no, very good win on resumption at Canterbury. Just had no luck. Had horse back in its face. Had to come cut back to the inside and still powered through the line um, against a bias at Canterbury. So came off the pace as well. And I think... Uh, in a benchmark seventy two, uh, a benchmark seventy eight, I think it's better than seventy eight grade, and I think it's another the other better bet on the program for me. Hundred um, percent. I think this is just going to get set up for it. Uh, partners will go like the clappers. Uh, smart yep. image will get just the trail into the race, and again, I think yeah, you, you're hundred percent on the mark here. I think there's two. These are two good bets. Bang bang, uh, two dollars thirty. Uh, maybe even a little bit better. Smart image at this stage looks good to me. Yep, fantastic. And again, the soft track won't hurt. No, that's right. Uh, we'd want to see, but by this stage, um, I'm thinking outside's coming into play as well, so hopefully um, yeah, we're running on and everything's going to plan so far. Uh, race 7 at Benchmark 7, 8,000 metres. I, this was a bit trickier. Did you have a thought here? Yeah, I thought this was a really tricky race, an open race. Um, I went for De Grawen purely because I think for, it trod really well. I think it's had uh, just a couple of starts on rain affected going and performed very well. And I think, again, the sting out of the track will really suit this horse. So I think it's ready to go um, first up. And I think it's going to be hard to beat in, in a pretty pretty good race. $4.50 is not bad. Yeah, I think the I thought the market was about right. I think the order's right there. De Gar- I think the gap is Ramlap's jewel, gem uh, out of the highway. But De Grauen from El Bellagio Miss, who was pretty pretty tough last start, um, yeah, the two, so no no real edge for me there. Um, broken Arrows, can it get, uh, if the outside fence is in play, can it do something? We had enough of it by now. Oh, look, it'll have to show a bit more for me. Yeah. Uh, this prep, it just hasn't hasn't let down like it, it can. Obviously a horse that has some talent, but yeah, um, not for me just yet. No, that's fine. I think, yeah, the on pace is fire that one out. The benchmark 78, back over the 15.50, second last of the day. Uh I uh, am going to, well, I, this is, for me, was pretty easy to do because I thought that the, let me get back down to my notes, the um, new arrangement r- 
race is all tied together th- into this. And when Cisco Bay sat three wide and still wasn't far away, I thought I can get rid of all that race. So it left me with, uh, and then I thought the Iron Vinny race was no good as well. So it left me with two chances. Snowfire, who's been quite good, inconsistent. Uh, sorry, no, I've penned that as well. That's the wrong race. Uh, which left me the top weight, sorry, Badoosh. Mm. Uh, $12. Uh, it's going to hopefully be, able, like I said, we can run on here. Inconclusive first up, it was never going to, a 1,400 probably challenge that's looking for further, but um, I think here it can really run on and um, doesn't have a lot to beat. I think uh, around $12 market, great bet here. Um, the other one in double figures that I'll sort of look towards in the quaddies will be um, away from the form I mentioned, so Magella down the bottom, but they're, yeah, two, Badoosh on top for me. Around twelve dollars. What about yourself? Yeah, funnily enough, I came up with the same. Uh, drawn wide, so hopefully that's a bit of an advantage that it can get to the outside mm-hmm. here. But a lot of horses haven't got a lot of form in this race with wet form. Yeah, uh, Badouche does. Uh, some of the others, uh, you're not not so sure about. As you as you put it, Snowfly Snowfire has got some good form uh, recently. Betcha Flying's finding it hard to win. Cisco Bay. Look, uh, as you lined up, one well, two starts back, but prior to that, not great. Virgin won last start, but form before that wasn't great. Don and Kim hasn't won in a while. Look, Badoosh looks you know, well down in class in this race, uh, carrying the top weight, but so I'm not giving him too many. I, I think, yeah, it's well worth a play at, you know, that's sort of 12, $10, $12 mark. Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, you either got to, when they're all tied together that way, they're either all going well or none of them going well. So That's right. you look away from it and you can f- maybe find some value, which is the way I looked but, at the yeah, race. Yeah, I'd be looking for some value in that race. Yep. Um, fantastic. And let's wrap up the day in Sydney on the 2nd of January with the 78 for the girls over the 1,100 metres. Not the most exciting affair. Um, I thought the favourite end of the day is probably easy to find is Selena Dreaming. Uh, gets. I've just noticed it's double booked, but Bellagio misses in the race. Okay. Um, so I think gets lightly raced a pretty good win against the face who came out and chased Forbidden Love on uh, Tuesday in the Gosford Guineas, um, and I thought it was on top here from Tiny if it runs. Yeah. So it was a nice return at Canterbury. Yeah, so Tiny looks like it will start in this race, and yeah. that's why I did come up with Tiny. I thought um, last start, first up win was pretty good at Randwick Kensington on, on this track over the 1100. Prior to that, uh, second in a barrier t- trial behind Viridine, mm-hmm. uh, so a decent horse, and then had a pretty easy time of it at a Hawkesbury trial on the soft going um, about a week or so ago. So two out of two on the soft, uh, one at one at the track, uh, a couple over the distance. Uh, look, I think it'll be in the finish. I hope Karen turns up tomorrow because we've tipped a big day for him. Have we? I think we've tipped him on top in about five races there. There you go. Uh, between us. So, um, but some of the big guns are away. Um, yeah, no Nash and no um, no J Mac, is it? Anyway, we'll see how we go. Um, I guess uh, him and uh, Rachel King are the go-to jockeys tomorrow. Yep. Um, gonna wrap up your thoughts, and I'll do the quaddie in Sydney. Yeah, wrap up my thoughts. Uh, I made my best bet of the day race six, number four, Smart Image, mm-hmm. and my value bet comes up in race eight. Number one, Badouche. Wow. Yeah, I'm with you with Badouche. Uh, and my best would be the race before Edison, but they're the two two major plays for me, those two in race um, what, five and six. Yep. Edison and Smart Image. But the Sydney Quaddy, uh, which I've got this week, I'm going to make it uh, four and seven into two, five, six and seven into one, three, seven and 11. Uh, home with one, five, ten and 12. Um, so never talk and... A uh, little more also go into the court in the last there. Um, Ever talk, you probably forgive last start. So uh, we'll see how we go for our New Year's quaddy at Kenzo. Um, now let's head down south, shall we, straight away? Let me mention progetracing.com.au once more. Yeah, give them a crack. Um, and uh, their f- extensive guide and free tips, which are up, uh, plenty of news up there every day. So check them out. And let's head to Caulfield, where they're currently good for the rail is in the tr- in the three metre mark. Uh, I don't know wherever there is some rain around um, tomorrow night and Saturday, I believe, but uh, Caulfield, unless it's raining throughout the program, tends to drain quite well, so I'm treating this typical Caulfield. Um, probably again on pace earlier, and um, we'll watch it through the day to see how much you can make ground. Yeah, 100%. Let's uh, kick off, hopefully, with a winner in the first in a 400-metre race, um, where Impecunious was um, very good on debut, Australian debut, coming over from New Zealand. Um, Towed up Winsome, who I think is a horse of ability, but... 
chimed in softly and just um, ran away with it. Ollie stays on, and um, I think this is a, a group horse going around in a benchmark 70 for girls. This will be it's a win tomorrow, and uh, hopefully go, I don't know where it's going, probably run through all the way through to early autumn now. Yeah, looks a pretty weak affair for if it can produce anything like its first up run, um, and had some good form back in the NZ, was it? Yeah, over in yeah. NZ. Uh, so, yeah, same for me. Beautiful. Um, race two, benchmark f- 64, a couple of weaker races with Flemington on tomorrow as well. 1,400. This is uh, maybe too tricky for me. Too tricky. How'd you go? Yeah, same. Uh, I, the only one I, I might throw something on, but I know it's accepted. I have a look now. has accepted it up north as well. Uh, Safiano, just because it had it was about nine bucks and had Sydney form, which always serves us well down there. Um, Strong gate 18. Gate 18 and Craig Williams' book, so that um, makes it hard. That is interesting, but I'm not sure it's a very good race, so I don't know. And five emergencies, so you know, it's probably jumping from 14 if it gets a start. Also accepted up north, so once we get through there, we'll have a look. Yeah, um, Only one there, but yeah, very tough for me. Yeah, too hard for me. Benchmark 70 over the mile and a half. Uh, what about this one? Yeah, good little affair. Um, 2,400 metre. There's top four in the market all coming off last start wins, which uh, makes it makes it hard. I settled on Coin Collector. I thought it was uh, really, really impressive last start. Uh, bolted in. Uh, prior to that, uh, ran a good race in the St. Ledger last prep. Um, Damien Oliver aboard. Yeah, look, uh, some of the others are lightly raced. Coin Collector for me. Great. Um, Laundie's accepted for tomorrow, uh, for Mooney Valley um, as well, I believe. No, for Flemington, sorry. So I'll be interested to see where it goes. Um, if it runs, I think it's close to top pick. But uh, if it not, I'm with Lady in the Sky uh, coming off 2,400 metre win at Sandown. was quite tough through the line there. And um, one of the few that's had it coming off a win over 2,400. So around $8.50, I thought it was, she was um, a reasonable each way bet here. So number 12 on top. Uh, if Laundie one runs from gate one, obviously to be respected. And yeah, very nice win last start from Coin Collector. So 12, four from six in that one. Race four, 70, doesn't get much easier throughout the day. Um, the Warren Moore handicap over 1,200 metre benchmark, 70. How have you gone here? Yeah, who's safe for me? Uh, looks like one of the better bets on the card for me. Uh, around the three fifty four dollars mark. Uh, look, uh, last start was very good at Mooney Valley in a better uh, quality race than this. A uh, few starts back, was winning very well. Uh, steps back in grade for me here. Um, Craig Williams aboard. If he can get it uh, to the right position, uh, should be hard to beat. Yep. No, um, my good friend Promotions in this race got beaten by Never Again last start, and that sums up uh, my thoughts on Promotions. Now, after it did nothing last week, um, I thought Who Say Yeah is the obvious. It's just coming out of that Grey's race, which I've had good success from laying every single horse out of because nothing's run from it since, but... Probably a good enough run last start behind Bandersnatch to be in the finish here. And um, there's just not much else I really want to play around. Cielo Doro was a nice win at the yeah. Valley. Yeah, that's what around I... Around $9 would be. Yeah. If I really get in the mood where I'm going to hate who say, it'll be Cielo Doro on top, about 9 bucks. Yep. Uh, race 5 for the girls this time over 1,100 metres. Does it get any easier? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I've got no idea. You? Yeah, I not with any confidence, but uh, don't mind uh, Laney Bang Bang. Uh, okay. Thought thought it was pretty good first up. Uh, hit the line pretty hard. Uh, so at the seven dollar mark, I thought it was a sneaky chance. Um, okay. So that's the kind of way I'm leaning towards. It was only it was quite informed, but at one at one B three lengths. Mm-hmm. And prior to that, uh, one of you know they won a maiden at a tuka uh, a tuka. And then backed it up and came out of that and won its uh, next start, which is not easy to do when they come out of that and go into um, uh, benchmark 58 type race yeah. uh, and won pretty easily. So I thought that was good enough form and to run a good race in this. No, that's cool. Uh, if I if I had ever bet, yeah, nine dollars around Exolita um, coming through at least a, a run up the straight would be the only other one there. But um, I think they're probably the two. But I'm I'm pretty glad you're doing the Caulfield Cordy tomorrow. That's right, that's, <laughs> that's the race before the quarter. Yeah, it is too, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, have you won any of these, Grant, a Dickon medal? Plenty. Oh, good. <laughs> I'll have Kelly confirm that soon. Um, 
race six over eleven hundred meter where the favourite is said horse. Take my word for it. <laughs> uh, how are you going here for the boys over eleven hundred? Yeah, tough race. Uh, I kind of stayed with uh, the big dick. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, <laughs> good for you. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought his first start win was pretty good and expect it to run well again. But, uh, yeah, pretty tricky affair. Uh, I'm going to – I've got probably two bets here. Esther Larocca was has been impressive twice. Again, similar to the last Caulfield meeting, all of the lead-up forms through Mooney Valley, um, but was very dominant. Crosses It's outside gate here, so it'll go one, one way. It's going to go straight across and lead. Hopefully can hold on and uh, or at least give you a sight. With something to chase there, Esther LaRocca on top. The one at $26, I'll be having something on, though, is the Hawks horse with Craig Williams on uh, Lucelli. Um, went out with two really soft wins um, last prep. Coming back outside gets with Williams, probably going back, so maybe one run in before we can back it. But around 26 bucks, I think it's a bet that I'm um, quite happy to have tomorrow. The two for me, obviously, respecting um, Dick and Metal and Zeon, who was a bit lost up the straight last start, chasing Ritten Miss, I thought, and finished off quite well. Um, all of those said ones were going to my quaddie anyway. Yeah, uh, 1,400 metre, 78, race 7. Uh, I am going to, I might as well lead off here, I'm going to go with the backup horse. Only question mark is running a 1,400 metre, but I thought Paperboy was pretty good last start. Um, last week on Boxing Day, chasing home, where are we here? Best bets updates. Uh, chasing home Hidden Legend. Um, Mickey D's riding quite well at the moment and... Um, around double figures, I think it's a reasonable bet. Uh, midships was stuck three wide two weeks back at Flemington in the separate race and uh, is probably a forgiven around twelve dollars as a two for me. Uh, how about yourself? I've gone for Regards Murray, uh, six dollar fifty. I think it's a pretty good value in this. One well first up um, over fourteen hundred for a new stable, uh, the Nick Ryan stable. But prior to that, um, it's two runs before. Th- uh, it went out for a spell. It was three lengths off Mystery Shot, mm-hmm. uh, which is a very nice uh, horse. And that was a pretty good run at Caulfield, over 1,400. And prior to that on the heavy, uh, I was only a couple of lengths behind Rich Hibbs. Uh, so for me, that's pretty good form uh, for a race of this yeah. nature. Uh, expecting it to have improved a bit from its first up run. And if Billy Egan can get a little bit of cover here from the wide gates, um, then, yeah, this will be right in the finish. Excellent. No, that's a good find. Um, it's a nice. That's a could be a good betting race actually for us. We might yes. uh, throw a few each way on those ones. Um, let's get into the eighth benchmark eighty four over eleven hundred as well. We've got four eleven hundred meter races. Um, you with the big resumer Turbian or the big resumer Sword of Mercy or something else? I've gone for Turbian, but this is a this is a definite two horse race. I think there's only yeah. two two that can win this. Um, both were very good first up, but Turbian. Just for me, was a just a touch better, um, so I've gone that way. Yeah, same. It was always a spruik horse um, early on, and was quite impressive early on. It trailed quite well this prep. Clearly, is back. It smashed Snitzel Fly, who you can actually tie the form in with some of these horses. Sizzlefly, Sizzlefly sorry, um, who's been going around. I know it's only Sizzlefly, but you can tie it into some of these horses, and it gave a oh, Sizzlefly's absolute, a decent horse. Yeah, and it smashed it, and so I think it's back here, um, and on top for me as well. Probably just rolls for. Uh, from gate one, we'll sit, probably only gets a place to get past the leaders back there. Yep. Um, so on top for me as well. Um, and yeah, we've talked the only dangers. I think Sword of Mercy was very good, you know, coming out of what I think is a reasonable race. Yeah, yeah, that was a good win. And out of that, um, we can probably put Overkill to rest for a little while. Yep, 100%. The last um, benchmark 84 over the mile to wrap us up. We're a few of our old favourites here. I, I struggled with this. What do you do? Oh, just, you just need a miracle. Yeah, yeah, it was just it was just way too hard for me. Um, I'll be going quite wide in the quarter here. Yeah, uh, I think it's almost the way to play the race is just maybe try and skinny up those middle legs yep. and by this time have a beer and watch the see if you can get a quarter result out of it. That's it. Um, yeah, Kapumpage is something that someone always throw something on, but just goes around and around these days. And Think and Fly is the only probably had the best last start, just missing by long arm. But uh, I can't stamp it. You know, how do you trust any of these horses anymore? Yeah, exactly. So let's not dwell on that then. Uh, I'll give you my best and roughy of the day, as a, uh, which was my best Yaki Turbian from uh, SA. I thought a um, very good return. A value if it runs here was Safiano. Uh, if it doesn't and goes up to Queensland, I might make... Uh, what was the other one we mentioned here? Oh, well, why not? I'll make Lucelli at 26 bucks. my value if, uh, if there's no... 
uh, Safiano. What about your quaddie and your best and roughy? Yeah, my best of the day is Terbium as well, race eight, number one. And Getting my, accordance. my value bet is race seven, number 10, regards Marie, around the $6.50 mark. Mm-hmm. And for quaddie, um, get your pens out here, mate. This is uh, not easy, but we're going to go numbers three, five, six, eight. Eight, yep. And 13. Yep. Um, in the next leg, in race seven, we're going uh, five, six, seven, and ten. Yep. In the eighth, we're going to go one out with the one. And in the last, we're going numbers three. Seven, eight, twelve, and fourteen. Great. Right, so we've got twenty, about a hundred combos there. That's not too bad. Yep. Um, and we've, I think we've covered a lot of bases there. So the day's running through Turbian. Um, very good, Beaver. And uh, Eagle Farm. Let's head up north to Eagle. Actually, just quickly, I mentioned tomorrow. So Flemington's racing tomorrow. Um, I th- I've had a quick look. Three that I'm sort of keen. Uh, race four, number one, Graf is uh, coming out of the new market. Before it was quite dominant, resuming around four dollars sixty. Race five, number one, Riding the Wave, around the same price, four dollars sixty. And race eight, number three, Fundraiser, uh, around three bucks, has been flying this prep and um, comes to town. Uh, what have you got? Nothing much at Canterbury. So let's head up to Eagle Farm. What yeah. have you got up there as we head towards Magic Moons? In fact, we might. Um, it's a tricky day. Maybe even next week we might sub in Doombin for one of the. And one of the other states yeah, for a when week. they get good races. So yeah. we'll have a look at that. Yeah, perfect. Um, but what have you, anything else up there? Yeah, I've got race five, number 15, uh, named after me, smart and sexy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, should be hard to so beat. you won all those medals. Yeah, that's right. Uh, race six, number two, ballistic boy. Yes. Good I horse. I think that'll be very hard to beat. And then my other bets came up, race eight, number seven, at $7.50, Soxagon. Yep. Horse I like. And uh, up in the last race, nine, number 18, Kiss Yukano. Yeah, not a nice that's a nice race. Yeah. yeah I saw uh, Needops about nearly 20 to 1 in that race. Yes. That's a good no, no, it's 9.50 now because Tully has been scratched. Ah, uh, yeah, they had the two good Olfans in there. Yeah. So is Ethereum up there? Ethereum's up there as well. If Ethereum's the there, I think 11 11 will win at Canterbury tomorrow night. Um, because it was a two-horse race with yep. Theory and 11-11, who's uh, obviously, if it's going up there, won't be at Canterbury. Um, race seven up there. Uh, Portland Sky's a yes. nice horse. Yeah, I, I, I thought that too. Um, good value. Yeah. $8. Um, but it was pretty good as well. Yeah, it was uh, well, tangled with the September run and then beat uh, Bella Nipotina. Yeah. So yeah, that's a... Uh, did it lead at Mini Valley? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Punch through lead. I know it had that in its favour, but um, it's a nice horse. Like yeah, I was, just, I was just a bit worried. Uh, the gate 14. Yeah, well, Eagle, that's better than Doombin. Yes, that's right. So I guess we'll see where they where they go. I haven't done it close enough to know exactly where um where you might sit in the run, but um I think it's a reasonable price, isn't it? Yeah, eight dollars. Yeah, very good. Um, much to add. Nothing else to add, mate. Very I'm looking good. Looking forward to it. So yep, then, we'll um we might catch up and have a, have a bet on in a new year. Hang. Yeah, perfect. See you uh, Saturday. See you Saturday again, punters. Good luck. Have a great New Year. Stay safe. Thanks. To, uh, check out Progress Racing. As you said, subscribe to us on YouTube, Spotify. Facebook and um, yeah, that's about all of them. And uh, we'll stay safe tonight. Have a great New Year's, and we'll speak to everyone. We're back for two shows, I believe, back to normal schedule next week. Take care, guys.